As always, I'd like to take a moment before getting into this message to just say up front, um, I don't intend to hurt anyone today, all right? And I say that because I find out, brothers and sisters, that sometimes things are said that are virtually unbearable for some people. Uh, like I said on the radio this morning, y'all remember that, that, that scene in A Few Good Men? Uh, for those who saw that movie where, where uh, Jack Nicholson was uh, sitting on the, court, uh, on the stand in the courtroom and the man said, I want the truth. And Jack Nicholson said, you can't handle the truth. I found out a lot of our people can't handle the truth. They really can't. But I still got to give it. I still got to give it, you know. Uh, it's almost like surgery, you know. So if I say something that is a little bit outside of your realm of awareness, please exercise ex, uh, intellectual vigilance. And instead of shutting me down and instead of shutting your own mind down, make note of what I said that you don't understand and go do your research. Okay, go do your homework on it. Go verify what I said. If, if I'm saying something that you don't know anything about, how can you say anything about it? Right? right? right. Okay, so having said that, let's get into the message for today. As you see, the subject of today's message is Nicaea, 325 A.D. A.D. stands for Anno Domini. It does not stand for after the death of. Okay? Anno Domini is Latin, which means in the year of our Lord. What's really deep, brothers and sisters, is this, is, this really ought to tell you something. How the Gregorian calendar has been completely adjusted around the existence of someone that the Roman Catholic Church made up. That's some deep stuff. I mean, they, 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 they actually started counting time down up to a certain point, you know, BC, 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 or BCE before the Common Era. Then it comes to a certain point in history, and then they start counting up again. Okay? So here we have, this is 2006. Right? Yes. According to who? <laughs> you mean tell me... We've only, we've only been here 2,006 years? No. Actually, I think this is 6,746. According to, if I'm correct on that, according to, and that's called after the founding of Kemet, AFK. So according to the ancient African calendar or the first stellar calendar, the, this year would be 6,746. Y'all follow what I'm saying? Okay. Now we got a problem with that. Okay. Because that's after the founding of Kemet. That's just the calendar found in Egypt. You follow what I'm saying? And those of you who are going with us to Kemet this year, you'll get at the Temple of Dendera, you'll get to see the first stellar in the observatory there. You'll get to see the first zodiac that was used. Okay. Which they copied all that from. Now some deep stuff because if we're talking uh, 6736 or 6736 after the founding of Kemet, and yet Kemet is the child of Ethiopia. Y'all following what I'm saying? Okay. And, and, and the, the civilization that came into Kemet came into Kemet with full knowledge of the math, of, the, of math and sciences and horticulture, out of agriculture. Y'all follow me? So how far back? Does African consciousness really go? If you do some research on, on what is called the um, Hutu and the Twa, you'll see that their history dates back almost 400,000 years. What, what number did I just say, y'all? Almost 400,000 years of history of African people. Why don't they want us to know this? 
In order for those who have been misled to begin to see correctly, and you need to understand, y'all, a lot of us don't see correctly. We see what we've been given to see. We see through the lenses that were assigned to us. And in order for us to begin to see correctly, we must have a clear analytical understanding of